Hey everyone, it's Louise here from Glorify. I do hope that everyone is doing doing good throughout all these, uh, you know, big changes that the entire world is going through now. So you see different things happen depending on what industries you're in. Now, obviously I'm talking to the general public here, so I'm not gonna go uh, and speak about specific niches or industries or anything like that. I'm gonna give you mostly general advice on what I think you should be doing right now uh, with your paid advertising, right? So this is actually something that we talked about internally um, and like I said, when you when you take a look at the majority of people, right, what they're doing uh, through times like this is it actually pulling back. Now, if you think about most advertising platforms, and I'm pretty sure it's all of them, right? If you look at Google, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram being part of Facebook, uh, they're all auctions, right? So auctions are being taken place. Now, what does an auction mean? It means that there's multiple people bidding for that exact thing that you want, right? In Google, you're bidding for keywords for the most part. Obviously, you're bidding for placements too when you're talking about GDN and video. Uh, when you're talking about, you know, Facebook, you're bidding on audiences that have similar interests. Uh, you know, you're bidding on the people on the placement as well. So there's a couple of different things that happen, right? When a lot of people pull back, right? And that's what we're seeing a lot of businesses, a lot of, of, of companies are, are cutting their budgets, they're pulling back, they're not spending the thing that they were, you know, a month ago. They're not spending the same that they were spending a week ago. What happens is the cost of all that actually demean, uh, goes down, right? So it decreases. So if your CPM before was, you know, I don't know, $20 to reach a thousand people, uh, maybe your CPM now is $15 to reach the same amount of people, right? So a thousand people. Uh, so it all depends. Uh, but the thing is, a lot of the costs are actually going down because people are pulling back. There's not, there, there's not as much competition. So what this means is that if you have the means, right, if you have cash reserves, if you are able to go harder right now, it's actually really, really good for your company and your brand. Because if you think about it, a lot of people, like I said, are not advertising, but most people don't have anywhere to go. The only place that they can go right now is to really get away from whatever they're doing is their phones, right? So they're going on Facebook and scrolling mindlessly. Um, I was looking at some, some, some of my friends and some, you know, connections that I have and they're posting screenshots of their screen time on their phone from before the quarantine happened to after. And you're talking about people that were spending two hours a day on their phone and now spending five hours a day. Right. So over a hundred percent increase there. Uh, so just things like that, that completely changed in, you know, the way that we do things, which changed the things that we're looking at changed, you know, a lot of different things. So, when that stuff starts to happen, you are able to reach more people, right? So more people are going on the platform, less people are advertising, cost of advertising is going down. If you have cash reserves, this is the time to go in and go harder. Now, one of the things that you have to keep in mind is a lot of people are also being more frugal with their cash, right? So there's a lot of people that are out of a job. There's a lot of people that aren't making the same that they were before. So not everybody is buying. What does that mean? There's multiple things you can do, right? What I recommend is going for a branded approach, right? If you look at local businesses, right, they obviously don't have the ability to go online, but they're making changes. They're pivoting. They're trying to push different offers to make sure that they're keeping those customers. So if you look at local businesses, a lot of them are having deals on gift cards, right? So this is something you can do online too. Everything that an offline business can do, you can pretty much do online to make sure that you're retaining customers to make sure that people are coming back later on. So run a deal on a gift card, like, you know, you're not necessarily spending the money, but you're just saving it for later when you're able to do so. So things like that, uh, if you if you have content, right, push the content now, it's gonna be able to reach more people. You can brand, uh, you can create uh, brand awareness, obviously for a, a lesser cost than you would otherwise when everybody's advertising actively. So go harder on any sort of advertising activity that is gonna raise brand awareness, uh, add recall lift, things like that. Uh, run engagement campaigns, try to get people in now because it's cheaper to do so, uh, right? So if you can do anything to collect emails, now is one of the best times to do so because you're not going for the sale now, right? But you can nurture them later on. So you're actually able to hold them. You can potentially hold on to them forever as long as you're giving them valuable information through emails. And when the time is right, you know, once the economy goes back up a little bit, uh, once this COVID thing gets, uh, gets through, uh, you can start really nurturing them and trying to get that sale from them. So again, pull, people are pulling back, but that doesn't mean you have to pull back as well. If you have cash reserves, go in, maybe even go spend more money that you were before because you are essentially 
getting everything at a discount, right? Try to think of it the same way as a stock market. If there's a lot of people buying, prices are going to go up. If there's not people buying, if people are selling, prices are going to go down. So it's, 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 it's an auction, just like the stock market, right? So cost of advertising are going down right now on all platforms, whether it's Facebook, Google, whatever the, play, the case may be. Now, one of those cool things about this is that because you're building brand awareness now, right? You're also getting people to know about you, to research you, right? So this is something that we've seen with Glorify over and over and over again. The more we advertise on Facebook, the easier it is to get them through Google, whether that's organic or paid search, you can get them faster because now they're, they're looking for you through other mediums uh, and it, it means you can do retargeting campaigns very, very well, right? So you're creating that audience, which is the most important thing right now is make sure that you're going after your best customers and giving them what they want, provide value. You know, we, like at Glorify, we came, we came out with a, a perfect um, ebook, right? So the COVID, the strategies for e-com uh, during the COVID outbreak, uh, people are going to download that because there's a ton of value. And obviously, right, they are going to be part of our ecosystem at one point once they download that. So we have the opportunity to reach out to them really whenever we want, whether we want to do it right away or we want to wait until COVID is over. We have access to them now. So again, if you go harder with your advertising budget now, you're actually going to be able to reap better benefits later on, uh, which is, it's obviously better for, for, for your company, right? For your business. Um, obviously don't go in debt doing it. So if there is some sort of cash reserve and you can use it for this, maybe it was intended to be used for this, go ahead and use that money, build brand awareness, make sure you're planning things though. Don't just waste money. You know, don't just spend money to spend money because it's there. Spend money because you are planning, strategizing and putting the things together that are, you know, are going to get you, you know, further down the line. Um, if, uh, I know SMS is a big thing right now. So if any of you are running SMS campaigns, I get a ton of SMS from companies that I like. So get people in, get them to provide you their, their, their phone number, run SMS campaigns on there as well. Flash sales, a lot of different things run, uh, you know, try to do good. Also people love that uh, about companies, right? You, you see people just raving about, you know, Oh, my favorite company is, is giving away, you know, is donating to charity that is fighting COVID or is sending money to hospitals in Italy. Um, you know, whatever the case may be, people like companies that have social responsibility and take action in that. Um, and you're obviously not doing it just, you know, because you know that people like it. You do it because it's the right thing to do. If you're able to donate right now to, to you know, organizations that are doing the right thing, trying to provide help, um, you know, I think it's, it's part of our moral, um, you know, our ethics as human beings just to be helpful where we can. Uh, so that's always important. But again, when you start advertising and increasing brand awareness, you're immediately going to see a rise, right? An uplift on your organic search. You're going to see an uplift, uplift in your, in your paid search. So things are just going to be better. Uh, and, and that goes hand in hand, right? The more people see your ad on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, whatever the case may be where you're pushing, the more people are going to start looking for you organically. And the more people you're going to be able to, to get through, you know, maybe paid search if you're doing branded campaigns and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different things you can try right now. Uh, you can also do offer offers if you have the profit margin to do so. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can do with your advertising. I know this isn't a super technical video for you guys. Um, if you are running any sort of paid advertising campaigns and maybe you want a second set of eyes, uh, maybe, you know, you, you want some feedback on something that you're doing, uh, you know, structuring your campaigns and stuff like that, feel free to reach out. Uh, I think this is going to be posted in the group somewhere. So just comment below, feel free to attack me, ask me questions uh, and, and make sure that you, you ask those questions publicly because it might be a question that somebody else has. So that way we can get, you know, we can provide as much value as possible. Uh, a lot of people don't want to ask them questions. Uh, and a lot of people just keep them to themselves. So if you do have a question, uh, regarding Facebook advertising, uh, that includes Instagram, obviously, or, or any sort of Google ads, whether that's display YouTube search campaigns, uh, shoot them over. I'm happy to help out and, 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 and give as much value as possible to you guys. So thank you so much for all the support always. Uh, we're the entire Glorify team is incredibly grateful for, for all of you. And we just want to, you know, to be there for you, to help you out through this. Um, so yeah, feel free to shoot over any questions and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.